Welcome back to the Firecast. I'm Ron Daly, and I'm talking to a couple of young ladies, some teachers here from uh, uh, Letcher County. Uh, they are uh, uh, Rebecca Potter and Keila Lyle. Keila Lowe. Keila mm -hmm. Lowe. Mm -hmm. And you've got an interesting project about telling our own story. So first of all, describe where did you get this idea and, and describe what the project's all about. Actually, the, um, the title and the ideal came from uh, Jeff Hawkins. I was in a workshop um, last year or a couple of years ago with him, and uh, one point that he made is that if we don't tell our own story here in eastern Kentucky, that others tell it for us, and it's not always the way we would like it to be. So that kind of gave us the idea. I've always worked with students and uh, in media, digital media, and so that sort of just gave me an idea, yeah, that's what we need to do. Last year, uh, we worked with uh, podcasting. Mm -hmm. The year before that, we let, worked with documentaries in our, in our um, uh, grant. So we're just kind of putting it all together this year. Uh, we worked with the hauler and with Bruce on photography skills and that sort of thing. So we're just trying to put it all together. And we're using going to use those to pretty much do a marketing campaign for Eastern Kentucky. We have um, been on a couple of trips already with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, we went to Pine Mountain Settlement School. When did we go there? In September? September, early September. Mm -hmm. Just for them to learn about some of the traditions and about Pine Mountain and, and that sort of beautiful place. Have you ever been? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. beautiful place. And they were very gracious to us there. And uh, the kids loved it. They, were, they got to weave. They um, Some of them had never done anything like that before. Okay. And they were so mm -hmm. proud of themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, they went on nature hunt. They just learned about the area. Yeah. So, Keila, why are you excited about this project? Yes, I'm very excited about this, too. And Mrs. Potter here asked me to join in this year. I'm a special education teacher, so I kind of get to bring that to the table with some of my special education students are now part of this as well. And we took that. A lot of them got to go on that field trip as well and get to kind of get out and experience different things and uh, do things with the community. And that kind of helps involve them. And, uh, being able to maybe get a job with some of them someday or something mm -hmm. and gives them confidence and social skills a little right. helps a little bit with that. Mm -hmm. So how many students are going to be impacted by this project? Gosh, we've Gosh, taken we a bunch. Took, um, uh, yeah, probably. We brought 25 with us today. today and um, tw anywhere from um, around 30. About 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just hoping that, um, yeah, and we're sort of looking into that place-based learning um, we've worked with the Apple Shop. Uh -huh. uh, we went down and had some um, workshops with them. They worked with them on video skills, photography skills, uh, audio skills. And um, uh, uh, the, they talked to them about, you know, there are jobs out there using these skills. Mm -hmm. and so I think the students are starting to see mm -hmm. that, that mm -hmm. they could, you know, this is something they could actually work at. So yeah. A and career choice for some of them. Mm -hmm. And you're lucky to be in Letcher County because... Mm -hmm. Uh, we know we have some economic challenges right, mm -hmm. right now, there, especially because of the loss of the coal mm -hmm. jobs and it's mm -hmm. hurting before then. But with Apple Shop, by the way, they're yes. celebrating their 50th anniversary yes. this year. Yes. Yes. And mm -hmm. KVAC mm -hmm. is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Oh, wow. So, oh, that's awesome. So mm -hmm. back in 1969, a lot of interesting things. And then so Dr. Happy. Jeff Hawkins, the executive uh -huh. director of KVAC, he's the one that started the Appalachian Film Institute. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. he's the one that's yes. encouraged us. So that's why we have the hauler yeah. doing all these yeah. exciting things yeah. with technology. Right. Mm -hmm. One of our, one of my former mm -hmm. students works with Apple Shop now. She worked with KVEC uh, when I first started working with KVEC, Willa Johnson. And so she um, pulls the students in on every project that she can. This is our, like, I want to say fourth year working with the grants and doing the digital stuff. Um, and just this past weekend, um, they invited some of my students back from college and a um, animation company out of Canada came in and hired those students to help with the animation and the voiceover. Cool. So they're actually getting paid to do this kind of work. Now. So yeah. that was exciting for me okay. to see, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a, I had that student this year, I had this student, you know, that yeah. was very exciting for me. You know, and, I, and again, because of technology and then the graphic arts and the video, mm -hmm. we have students now in the classroom middle school and high school who are actually earning money yes mm -hmm. uh, you know and so that's something that people mm -hmm. we need to really revisit workforce right. development realizing exactly. that you can be working 
in the classroom or after hours use the technology yes. to do some exciting yes. stuff. Mm -hmm. And the Apple Shop has hired several of our students to do that sort of thing. And uh, just this past summer, well, every summer they have the Appalachian Media Institute yeah. for students. And I think we had eight, what does that say? Mm -hmm. That eight, sounds about right. Mm -hmm. um, students mm -hmm. that worked on it this summer. Yeah. Well, uh, why did you two go into teaching and do you enjoy it? Love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. This is my 28th year, and um, I, I don't think there's anything else out there for me. I don't think there's any other job that I would rather do. The same for me. This is just my third year, so I actually graduated here from UPOC, so mm -hmm. it feels good to be back around everything today. But, um, yeah, this is my first year being at the high school with um, the special education department, so I really enjoy it and love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I want to thank you for both mm -hmm. being on the program and keep up the great work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>